All right, so I finished my summons for the boy Arthur, and nice invite in the beginning of the video. I finished my summons for the boy Arthur. Um, did like what 16 multis because I bought the um, the tickets that they were selling. And uh, the reason why I actually did all these multis was because I actually genuinely think Arthur is like an SS tier unit. If I was to make the tier list today, which I'm waiting um, for in, uh, Meliodas and Dreyfus to release, and then I'm going to make the tier list. But if I was to make it right now, I would put him in the SS tier because he is a really good unit. And I know a lot of the discussion is, should, ha should have Arthur come to Global, given that the celebration was semi-joint? It, re it really wasn't. Like, the, the Twitter page posted about it, the English one, but they never had anything in the game, in, like, in cl like really saying that it was a $7 million celebration, but the Twitter page did, which, you know, it means they are aware <laughs> of the celebration happening. Um, this was just a JP thing. But a lot of the discussion was, should have Arthur released on Global? And actually, I think he should have. I think that they should have dropped him for free as like a login bonus or something. Um, and they, later you can get his dupes, right? Because right now on GP, what, what it was, was uh, you got the 7 tickets. At the end of the 7 tickets, you got, you got him for free. And if you want to keep somebody with gems, you can get his dupes, right? His dupes are not free. His dupes, you, can actually, you have to actually summon for them. But... The card itself is free, and I think Global should have gotten for free as well, just because he's a really good unit, but he's not a broken unit. Uh, and yeah, I did I did pull uh, four times. I pulled the guaranteed one twice and two more copies, right? So I got him to four dupes, and I actually really want to six six him. Um, the next banner coming out, which is the Milios banner, doesn't have him, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to pull him, but it's okay. He is four level, and in the previous showcase I did, he was level sixty because. There isn't that big of a jump between level 60 and 80 when it comes to um, when you have really good gear, right? And Which I did have for him, really good gear. So, I am working on his gear. I will give Arthur your war gear. That's how much I like this unit. I really like this unit. I will give Arthur your war gear and he will be looking really clean. Right now, I'm just rocking the standard attack and crit damage. This is what I already worked on, this. Uh, I will give him our belt, because it doesn't matter. This will be like a permanent gear for him. I will always use, because I will use him every time now for the Hell Red Demon. Really good for it. I'll have gameplay for the Hell Red Demon in this video. And I will UR these two pieces. This is for Meliodas, so this is not actually his UR gear. This is SSR gear for him. But I will be URing these two pieces for him, and he will be looking clean. So, if you don't know what he does, his passive is that the more ult gauge he has, the more crit damage he gets. If he has a full ult gauge, he gets extra 100% crit damage, and his crit, his uh, ultimate doubles crit chance, so he pretty much he always crits. Um, the other cards don't matter. He does one stuns at level 3, so it's not very useful for most of the most of the time, and this one attack seals, which is actually pretty good. Uh, let me get him to a stage, and I'll kind of show how much damage he can do now that he's 4 out of 6. He is like... A monster at 6-6, six, six, especially because unlike Jericho, which needs so much buildup and she has like no defense and no resistance, he is a solid, solidly tank unit and he does need no buildup. You get his ult turn 2, boom, his ult like one shots. He's just so stupid. Okay, sorry for the long explanation. I just felt like I really needed to talk over because in my first video, I said that he was a disappointment and he still is for me. Just because I really wanted his level 2 to stun, that would have made him so stupid broken for the red demon. But now I kind of understand why he doesn't, because honestly, if he did stun on level 2, he would be way too good for the red demon. He already is really good for the red demon. His ult hits super hard. Go for it. Nice, okay. Here's the thing. I only care about his ultimate, so I don't care for getting like a level, uh, him leveled up, right? His cards leveled up. So what I'm gonna do, is, and this is why I love him. It's so easy to get ultimates for him, and just do well because Jericho, I would need to keep attacking with her so she would get her freaking crit chance all up. He doesn't need that. Boom! I got his ultimate. So easy. Turn two, I got his ultimate, and turn three, thir turn three, I'm gonna use it. Unlike Jericho, which oh, uh, I like Jericho. Don't get me wrong, but she's just an, an annoying unit to use. Alright, and I already can use his ultimate. It's just so easy to use, right? I can already use his ultimate. We're gonna boost up the attack with uh, Easton, and then use his ultimate. It's just so easy to use, right? So, let me, uh, boom. Let me go for Hauser. Wait, does the... No, it doesn't, it doesn't increase defense, I think. And then, I don't know, let me attack this guy um, afterwards. Doesn't really matter. I, I don't, I don't want to show his ultimate. I don't like his ultimate. 600k. Just the um, 
the boost, right? No, oh man, his card, if only his card had a better crit chance, he would have been so much better, but his card can hit like super hard. Okay, that was 600k. Now, let me do one thing. I'm gonna take off Gopher, and I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put, um, not Red Merlin, because I actually need Merlin for the link. I'm gonna put um, Gustav in the back, in, in the front, and I'm gonna freeze uh, to the best of my uh, abilities, freeze with the most rank possible and see how much damage he'll do. Just in, in these enemies that have like almost no resistance, right? See how much can, he can do for it. Okay, I will give this another go, but this is actually a good attempt. This is a level 3 freezing for level 2 boost. So it's almost the mast, max I can do. So let's see how much it does with level 3 freeze and level 2 boost. 1.3. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get a level 3 boost, though, because it, it's a huge boost for level 3. I got it, boys. Level 3 freeze, level 3 boost, and the R for ultimate. How much is it going to hit for? I don't think... I mean, you can, you can hit for more, but this is going to be a, uh, a quite a heavy shot. Let me, uh, let me also do the, uh, the Eastern ultimate afterwards. Uh, how much are you hitting for, Arthur? 1.5 almost. That's really good. That's really good. He is a free-to-play unit. Uh, not even 6-6. Six, six. It has no fate. Dude, when he gets his Link buddy that gives him an extra boost damage on the ult, he's gonna be really good. And, like, uh, the fact that he's so easy to get the ultimates is what really kicks me, dude. It just really like, makes me like this unit. Because, uh, like, here's the thing, right? Let me use an ultimate without a boost. Just so you can see that you don't need boosts <laughs> to make him hit hard. Like, without the boost, he hits for, like, 300k, right? Um, just because I can, I'll freeze you. Oh, and I'll attack you. Just because I can. Uh, without the boost, he just hits for, like, 300k. And, like, it, it, it's so good. Like, the unit is just built to be fun and easy to use. Unlike... Again, Jericho. <laughs> I have no problem with Jericho. It's just that she's really she's really annoying to use, right? Like this might even kill Hauser. Yep. Look at look at the difference in damage between the non-crit damage uh, hits. Like he does more than double the damage. Um, like the, the single hit right there was like 14k, and the crit was like 34k. So if he hits three times, he does well over ha uh, like double damage. So. Without the boost, how much does it hit for? Like, uh, around 300k. Which, if you get an extra Arthur card, you can easily get him, like, the ultimate so easily. It's just such a fun unit. I don't think he's, like, stupid for PvP or anything. 400k. Uh, I don't think he's, like, broken for PvP or anything. Oh, that's... The reason why he hit for 400k is because, um... Um... He's lowering the resistance, right? I forgot about that. But, yeah, it's just so good. Man, is just so good. Okay, so let me go on Guild Boss right now. Um, get, like, the, the uh, damage on Guild Boss with type advantage and everything. Because Guild Boss is such an important activity. And I think with how easy to use choose Arthur, I think it's actually a very viable option. Just for, um, if you don't if you don't really, like, go for the most competitive numbers, right? He's a really uh, solid option. So let me go in there and see how much I can hit for. Okay, got the run. Uh, I actually have a Gopher boost as well, which is really nice. A uh, go for attack boost from his level 3 card. So, gonna boost up. And then... Freeze. Alt. Hopefully R for crits. <laughs> there is a chance he doesn't. And then I'll have to try again, but it's, it's alright. Hopefully he crits. And... 1.4. So around the same damage I did in the, uh, the stage thingy. Which is not bad at all. Again... Very easily build, um, I, it took me one attempt, which is really good. Usually, usually, when I use Jericho, it takes me, like, multiple attempts for her to do, like, 2 million damage. Um, so, overall, really good. Now, uh, last chunk will be for the Red Demon, and uh, it's already pre-recorded, so, uh, yeah. The Red, Hell Red Demon, which is, by the way, the place I would say um, he is the most useful on. Most useful at. So, yeah. Okay, so now for the Red Demon, I just got invited by a random, so uh, this will be a good showing. I'm actually recording this before uh, I recorded the actual showcase because I, I I was planning on doing the video and then I, I got the invite and, <laughs> and I was like, this is my opportunity. I need to go for this Hell Red Demon. Um, and Hell Red, it's not 
like it's it's not difficult, but definitely um, could use some more options because unlike uh, Hell Grey and Hell Re and Hell Crimson, I feel like it's not much established what units you should be using. All right, uh, so the the ultimate is what really matters for Arthur, but whatever cards he are, oh, might as well whatever cards he can throw as well also count uh, because his regular card. If he has like a good amount of ult gauge, if he can crit, he does a good amount of damage. Like I've seen him with only level 1 Eastern um, boost do like 300k on his level 3. Uh, because he crit every hit. Like it, it's really good. If he can stun the red demon as well, it's just so good. Um, he, he's... I've said this. If, uh, if only, right? If only he got the... Um, the stun at the level 2, he would be insane. But unfortunately, I, th I think for balancement purposes, they were like, nah. <laughs> that would be way too strong um, for Red Demon, right? Although you can't you can bring Gopher. So it wouldn't be the easiest thing to get the level 2, but it would be much easier, right? Much easier than level 3. I do get from time to time a level 3 doing the, the Hell Red Demon, because I've done hell red with him at least like i want to say like 30 or 40 times because um I, pr I have friends that play the game right so i do i do ask people for raids um okay please <laughs> he actually inflicted a bleed on arthur and I'm, I'm kind of scared arthur is gonna die if he keeps like single targeting arthur okay i'm actually kind of scared he'll die but I'll, i think he'll be fine god level two of east and i really want to use level two of east and only with the old okay, 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 perfect opportunity. I'm gonna do this. This should kill, and then next turn, I'm gonna lower his defense level two with Easton and ult with um, Arthur. Lowering his the oh, <laughs> unfortunate. I thought we were gonna kill. <laughs> That's why I uh, I I really thought we were gonna kill. It's fine, it's fine. Um, this is not <laughs> this is going a bad run just because I'm I'm trying to force using Arthur. And um, this poor guy that invited me, he's, he's seeing a bad run from me. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm still gonna go with the plan. So let me waste this Eastern card. And this Bond card. And I guess so. Uh, I have to move something. Um, I'll just move the Eastern, it's fine. It's alright. They should kill the Red Demon, th this heart at least. And the next turn I'll lower his defense. First, ooh, hopefully he has the... The lane boost. Hmm. That would be nice. That would be very nice. I can... I don't want to ult with Bon. I actually want to complete the run. So ulting with Bon. Better next turn. Use your ult, please. Use your uh, boost, please. Nice to... Oh, Slater, please don't kill. <laughs> Slater might kill. If it does kill, it's not that big of a deal. Because I can just use it next turn. Uh, but it's, it's quite alright. With the Eastern boost and the lane boost, it's later actually my kill. It's later my one shot. Nah, okay. So how much how much damage is Arthur doing? With the double boost as well. Please crit. If you don't crit, I'll be actually very upset. 500k. Now here's the thing, right? It's it's not a difficult setup. It, like you see units do like insane damage. Um but it's like Derriari, right? You need to set her up and stuff. Arthur, bro, he's just he's just doing the damage. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just doing the damage. Um, and this is like, was a level one from um, from a lane as well. So it's it. He's really good for Red Demon. I I'll be using him for sure on my uh, teams. Usually, I actually use um, instead of um, what's her, what's her name? The original character, um, uh, Easton. I use Slater. But just because this guy had a lane, and I was like, "Oh, if I put if I put Easton, Arthur is gonna do some good damage." But that's that's a strong ultimate. All right, that's it for the Red Demon, and I think that's it for the video. I think I'm gonna save this for the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Arthur is really good. Um, I again, I think I'm gonna say this in the beginning, but uh, I think Global should have got him. Genuinely, I think Global should have got him because he's not a broken unit, but he's a really good unit. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, I got the drop.